And of course, always a designer should be very conscious of getting the brief correctly, talking to the client at great length and just understanding what the client wants to achieve. The inspiration for the market, it's street food really. And of course in Hong Kong and many other Asian cities, street food is very, very important and popular. I mean, this is a particularly complex um, project because the movement of the customers through the space is pretty complicated. I've always personally been a great promoter of the open kitchen because I think the whole process of cook cooking is theatre in itself. And here you have a wonderful demonstration of this. Chefs working away, chopping things, cursing each other, and um, generally being there in front of the public. It's always a cross-fertilization between perhaps Western ideas and a Western way of designing and the huge energy and excitement of the Asian style of life. Speaking uh, for myself as a restaurateur, I think the market, the wet food area, is such a great idea that I'd like to do it as an individual pro project, maybe here in the UK. And of course, one of the critically important things about above and beyond is the views over the city because you have this extraordinary ability to be high enough to actually see the entire city of Hong Kong and beyond. Everybody's trying to think of ways of doing a club, a dining club if you like, and this one seems to have absolutely got the balance correctly. The energy of the um, space is absolutely paramount. And certainly the club area was that it should be relaxed and slightly luxurious. And it's made particularly Hong Kong by the display of lots of artefacts that we collected for the shelves. And of course, the customers make it particularly Hong Kong. These are places done for Hong Kong people. And thank goodness, since it's opened, they've, it's become enormously busy and popular place. And so it's getting it's getting its own rhythm now. One of the really great things about this project is that it's part of the university, so there is a percentage of the staff who are learning the catering business. They're learning service, they're learning cooking, and I find that particularly exciting that in a real-life situation, there are um, people who are going to have a career in catering or hotel, hotelery, hospitality, are working with proper customers. I think the future of design is towards a very much more relaxed, charming, way of creating the sort of places that makes the people who use the space feel happy and relaxed. It's not uptight, it's, it's the sort of thing where you know you feel like taking your jacket off, kicking your shoes off and 
sitting on a sofa reading a book with a drink and um, hopefully a cigar. <laughs>